So why in all the movies set in the 1940s do people always talk like this? I guess this is how they talked when they were back in the day. Whether they were from New York or not, they were in Los Angeles, they still sound like they're talking on some kind of old radio station doing a horse race or something like that with a cigarette in their mouth. And in the Gangster Squad, it's no different. This movie feels like Sin City. It looks like LA Confidential and is basically a story ripoff of The Untouchables. At any moment, I was expect I was ex expecting the brilliant but overacting Sean Penn to say this. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go there at night and piss on his ashes. This film does have a lot of style, lots of art deco style, and it almost feels like a film noir, you know, set in the 1940s with some kind of private dick who's going after the femme fatale and the whole thing. Speaking of femme fatales, Emma Stone, dibs. Fact is, despite the film's unoriginality factor, it's quite good. It's funny, it's moving, it's ultra-violent, action-packed, and the best film I've seen so far this year. Of course, it's the only film I've seen so far this year, you know, in 2013 and everything. Yeah, why not? You wanna see my disappearing cigarette trick? Ready? Look, it's gone. <laughs> I should be a star.